Brendan Fraser seemingly disappeared after becoming a household name as the star of George of the Jungle, Bedazzled, and of course, the Mummy movie franchise. But with recent accolades and an Oscar win for Darren Aronofsky's The Whale, I need to know that I have done one thing right with my life. It just goes to show that his talent never went away. His film earnings climbed steadily in his prime. His best came in 2008 when he made $14 million for The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. During this period, he was worth $45 million. Unfortunately, soon afterward, he struggled financially, owing to self-stunt injuries, depression, a legal issue, and a costly divorce from Afton Smith. Today, his performance in The Whale made his comeback stand out. Fraser received $12 million and the 2023 Best Actor award for the lead. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Fraser currently has over $20 million to his name. Brendan has used some of his money to buy real estate over the years, like his nearly 4,000-square-foot Beverly Hills home, reportedly bought in 1996 for 675 grand. The museum-style, floor-to-ceiling glass building embraces the Hollywood lifestyle, with a dark room for photography, a home cinema, and views of the surrounding hills and sea beyond. It was eventually sold in 2007 for $3 million dollars, a profit of about 2.3 million. After his divorce and break from Hollywood, Brendan moved to New York City and spent just under $3.4 million on his new home. This secluded 5.2-acre property was purchased under one of Fraser's LLCs in March 2012 for $2.3 million, a deal that was initially listed at $2.595 million. Built in 2003, it has five bedrooms, 5.5 baths, and 4,800 square feet of living area. It also includes includes a two-car garage, swimming pool with pool house, and a stable. He also owns luxury cars, including a $75,619 to $82,300 Hudson Hornet, a $56,850 BMW, and a $321,400 Ferrari. He likes keeping things private, but his occasional trips do not go unnoticed. He once spent a beach holiday in Barbados, where he enjoyed snorkeling with his sons Griffin, Holden, and Leland. Barbados is one of the most expensive tourist destinations in the Caribbean. Famous for its endless array of luxury hotels and resorts, it boasts world-class beaches and a rich cultural history. Just recently, Brendan and his girlfriend, Jean Moore, were spotted basking in the Italian sunshine as they arrived at the Regina Isabella Hotel in Ischia for the Global Film and Music Fest last month. The Regina Isabella, the only five-star luxury hotel in Ischia, is in a tranquil bay nestled by private beaches, rocky outcrops, and Mediterranean pine woods. With his history, of overcoming struggles and recent triumphs, he's more than earned the right to indulge in a touch of luxury.